Hi, it's Heather again, and today we're talking about this little beauty, Labradorite. Um, it's a field spa mineral, first found in Labrador, Canada, which is why I really have trouble saying it because I make sure I say Labradorite. Some people make it sound a lot more fluid than I do, but I am a bit picky to say the Labrador right, Labrador right in Labrador right. Wow, confusing English language, isn't it great? It's also found in a whole host of countries, including Poland, Norway, China, Madagascar, Australia, which seems to actually have quite a cool mix of uh, stones and crystals going on, Slovakia, and the US. There is a Finnish version um, which is called um, Spectoralite and it shows the full range of colours. Now um, the colours that Labradorite comes in are yellow, grey, black, brown, greenish blue and colourless which I think would be quite cool to see. I've never seen any. Um, I've seen pretty much the rest of the colours, I think, but never the colourless. And can be translucent through to opaque. Um, it, right, you can find jewellery made out of Labradorite. But it isn't particularly good for everyday wear. Now, it is a 6.5 on the most scale, so it, it is a fairly hardy stone but it's just not good for a rough and tumble. So if you have like an unsupported pendant or something like that, so say this had a hole in the top and I just had it on a necklace, it's likely to break. If it's in um, metal around the back and it's held by the metal, not the stone, it, it will survive longer. But in saying that, it is beautiful and if you do have it, if you protect it, you know, don't wear it every day, take it off at night, things like that, it, it'll last you a good long while. And the same with your earrings, if you have Labradorite earrings, if they're dangly, which they're likely to be because they tend to be nicely carved when they're Labradorite, um, it just makes sure... I mean, I've got two piercings at the moment. I want to get more done. But if I had Labradorite, say, in my lower piercing, I wouldn't have any other dangly so that they couldn't clash into it. Just so that it's safer for Labradorite. Um, now, it has quite a long history. It was originally classed as a magic stone. These days, we class it as a transformation stone um, it helps you when you're going through change by giving you strength and perseverance now when is this going through change life is always changing so it is a good stone to have around but if you're going through big changes you can find extra strength in it basically um, it, it raises consciousness and grounds you all at the same time so it's very good for people who are practicing um with psychic abilities because it is also a stone to help with psychic abilities we'll get into that a little more later on um but it is also a grounding stone so if you use it to um well for one of its psychic abilities i suggest having another grounding stone by you if you're using another stone or, say, runes, tarot cards, even tea leaves, use it as a grounding stone instead. So it depends what you're using it for. I suppose you could use it for both, but I always think use it for one or the other, not both, because everything has a breaking point. I'm sure you know yourself. If you are a very in-command, dominant and domineering person, if you get put into a submissive position you're going to break a lot easier than if you get given, say, a managerial role. 
Now, the reason why I'm saying that and people who don't believe in these kind of things are going to sit there and go, but it's just some feldspar that looks pretty. Every Everybody has different beliefs. So for some, something like this is just something pretty to have on your mantelpiece. Especially, you know, some of the pieces are quite large and freestanding. Absolutely beautiful to have on your bookcase. For other people, they are actually a magical tool. So, cover all bases. Um, now, it, as I say, it promotes psychic abilities and it helps you reveal the truth. How it does that, it depends on how you use it. Um, I, if you follow me on Instagram, I do a sleep experiment. Um, I do it every week. I got asked to use this. I think it would be better as a combination stone for something like that. With meditation, it would be good on its own because of its abilities. But as a sleeping stone, if you are like a vivid dreamer or something like that, it would be better in combination with another stone. Because its messages are there, they're not clear. Clear as mud would be a good way to put it. I actually had to, instead of spending one night and having a clear message, I ended up spending three nights and doing a lot of work as to what was going on with the dreams I was getting and I had to keep sleeping with it on and off to see if there was any coherence to them and there was there was actually coherence to the dreams it's just that I had to look into it so yeah um it apparently lessens fears and insecurities and boosts self-faith and self-trust so if you are somebody who does not have much self-worth this could be a good boost to you what i always say is even if you don't believe in the power of stones mwahaha, try it just get because it, it's nice you know most of the the stones and crystals that i have on here are very pretty get a piece of jewelry or a little ornament something to fiddle in your pocket and just try it just a little cheap piece or a nice necklace something like that see if you feel better when you wear it because you never know if all else fails you've got a fiddle stone for when you're feeling nervous or a, a nice little carved elephant I, d I don't know i've never actually seen a carved elephant in these although i have seen like little lady statues you know like fertility statues things like that um carved out of labradorite or a nice new necklace i uh, i would not suggest it for key rings it, it will shatter with the constant jangling of key rings um it is a, a protection stone it protects you from ill will and negativity and because it is such a strong protection stone it can't be used for bad so that is also a good thing i like protection stones anyway because i don't personally use these stones in magic per se i use them for sleep experiments um and that that probably does sound very very strange to a lot of people but i don't practice a lot of magic the reason why i don't practice a lot of magic is simply because I don't feel the need to in my everyday life. I have, well, just there, not that you can see just there, I have a little feng shui. It, it's a cup, but it's a, a shrine. And just there, I actually have a little Wiccan shrine, neither of which are my direct religions, but it's nice to have something out. I... I you may have guessed by the fact that I talk about a lot of religions on other videos that it's nice to have a little something out for other gods in my book. And, you know, my, my little Feng Shui swine, shrine over there isn't a proper one. 
neither's my Wiccan one but it's just something so those gods know when I turn around and I see it at the corner of my eye they know that I'm thinking of them same over there uh my motorbike is named after an Arisha she's called Oya you know things like that it's just the way I am these stones to me they do have power they do have magic it's just I don't use that type of magic it's just the way I am a lot of people do they use it daily they use it in their everyday life and I like to tell them about that I'm more of a herby person so I'm not going into that because it's the wrong time of year I started this at the wrong time of year and I started this because I sell stones and crystals um, and I want to let everyone know about them because I absolutely love them as they are I want to let people know about them I know I seem to just do videos randomly but herbs and spices and things like that will join the catalogue at some point and you, yeah I may as well just walk around with the camera rolling 24 7 at the moment I'm sorry I really am so yes and sorry for the little chuntering there now, uh, it also helps boost imagination, enthusiasm, new ideas and calms uh, um, overactive mind. So it is quite a good stone to have around you when you are um, at work and you're not sure what to do. Now, that, that might sound silly, but sometimes we, we all have a block. We all have a... We all have those days when we just can't get it out of us. You know, it might be a mental block. It might be a complete lack of ideas. Or it might be the fact that we do have the ideas. We just can't get the words out. This is very good for that. I will say when I was using it as a sleep experiment stone, I could actually feel it in my larynx, which is very, very strange for me because I don't normally feel them. And it is supposed to be above your heart it affects for me it's very strange to feel any stone have such a strong effect that i can actually feel it um anywhere but it works ish for me it's probably why i'm blabbing unless of course you've seen me with my um what was it that i did it with my mind's gone and I went absolutely hyper the other week that was funny that was hilarious I'd do that again that was like being on drugs without actually being on drugs those stones um my one's from Afghanistan I can tell you everything about them but I can't tell you the names it's turquoise wasn't it is it the turquoise and I, I was just whew, gone that has a strong effect um, these increase coincidence and synchronicity which is how they got their um, name as a stone of magic and now as a, a, a stone of um, transformation because synchronicity you know um, if people don't know what that means um, you're looking for a new job and you walk by your favourite shop and you know every product that's in there and say it's a clothing shop you are literally dressed head to toe in their clothes so you walk in and you go you you say you need a jar you need you know you need a salesperson and normally they'll just turn around without even thinking about it and go you need to go online but they actually turn around make eye contact realize you're a perfect fit and literally go when can you start that's the kind of synchronicity that it um brings out the serendipity is finding out something wonderful or beautiful by mistake so again it is something very similar to synchronicity um that would be you uh, are walking down the street minding your own business you're just expecting another ordinary day 
and you decide to go and buy a lottery ticket you've never bought a lottery ticket for either before or in years and not only that you put it on lucky dip and suddenly you've won the lottery whether it's a couple of quid or a couple of thousand or a couple of million that's the kind of serendipity you could be looking at i am going for a big stretch there but you never know it could happen i'm thinking on the spot here sorry my bad um now it also recharges psychic and spiritual energy levels so if you do work in the trade with anything runes tarot cards tea leaves um even uh reiki um or reiki um uh, yoga anything like that people sit there and think of yoga as just being stretching exercises it's actually a lot more it could be for you also thinking of yoga and reiki um it protects your aura clears negativities and seals and protects any energy leaks in your aura so it is a healing stone on an auric level always nice to have what else have i got yeah the reason why it's a stone of transformation is basically because not only does it give you a boost as a person and it gives your luck a boost through synchronicity and serendipity it all seems to happen at once which causes a, a lot of change and then of course it's a stone of change of calming change so you're you get that job you sit there and think well hey my life is on the up i finally got the job and it's a job that i want and then not only that you, you end up doing really well at your job and within a short amount of time you i don't know i've never well i have worked in a shop it was years ago so please excuse me on this and we just had shop workers shop manager but you could become a shift manager quite soon after because you are so good at your job because you have loved this shop and its products for years um it could do that which is a lot of change all of a sudden out of nowhere but the thing is you cope with it quite well because it helps that's what it does it's its job it is a very very good stone speaking personally like I say, I used it in one of my sleep experiments over on Instagram. It does not give clear messages. It does give messages, but I did have to go into a lot of work for it. Now, apparently it does help. Hang on, I don't even know if I've told you that. It does help you easily travel between the spirit world and the physical world. So if that is what you are trying to do, or your line of work it is a very good stone to have with you however if you are just trying to like me well i i do it as an experiment because i am a, a vivid dreamer and i didn't expect anything to happen when i started my experiments i've always admitted that um so it was actually quite shocking that every time i slept with a stone i got a usually a different result i'll explain that in a second I got a different result and it seemed to gel with what the use is for a, a specific crystal or stone was even without looking in depth into what the uses were for something with this this gave me a dream that was a continuation of the last stone's dream that i had which i've never had before so it didn't give me a brand new dream and start from scratch. It gave me a continuation dream and I had to look into it and I kept on having to use it to try and work out what was going on. I think I've worked out what's going on, but I think it would be better if you're going to use it in that sort of a scenario because some people do actually to have it as a companion stone 
with something else if, if you've used stones under your pillow before i go for usually close contact or skin contact um and you think you're getting dreams but they're a bit fuzzy because they're not your normal dream pattern or what you'd normally have but you can't remember them properly or something like that and you want more clarity double it up or with a bit of labradorite it could help that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it will help. I'm saying it could help. I'm getting used to dreaming thanks to stones now because I've been doing it a while. However, when I came to this, when I fir my first night, I thought something had gone wrong. So I don't suggest using it on its own i do suggest using it as a companion stone so it can strengthen a weaker stone personally but as a meditative stone you can if you are open to that kind of thing you can feel the power quite easily i, I like it it's beautiful i mean the one that i've got uh, you probably can't see half the, the, the colours that I can when I have it like in daylight because the ring light and stuff. But it is absolutely gorgeous. So go for it. That's the best thing I can say. Labradorite is absolutely gorgeous. Right. That's the end of Labradorite, I suppose. Have fun. Know your power. And I'll be back to bug you with like another 80 videos in I don't know. I'm finally getting around to the rest of my Halloween videos. I'm so sorry it's taken this long. I've been doing my own Sweden with it. But some of the things that I thought would be fairly easy to find information on aren't. So sorry. And I've just completely dated this, haven't I? Yay! Have fun and know your power. Bye!